Hello there, sweetie. It's a hard time for Joe Graves. Last February, her husband had a major stroke. For years, he'd paid insurance to cover debt on his Canadian Tire MasterCard. He had told me that he was getting this insurance just in case anything ever happened to him. George Graves' stroke led to dementia. His credit card balance went unpaid. Canadian Tire started calling his wife for months, demanding the debt be paid. I was devastated, to tell you the truth. I thought, why? Because when he was making payments, he never missed a payment. He was never late. Graves assumed the insurance would kick in, but says Canadian Tire told her her husband had to file the claim. Go Public requested an interview with Canadian Tire. They declined, but in a letter to Joe Graves, a senior representative wrote, Canadian Tire Bank has processes in place to make customers aware of how their credit protection insurance coverage could apply, and that these processes were followed. If you think it's going to cover your total balance, you need to think again. This personal finance expert says, in general, credit card balance protection insurance isn't worth having. Because these policies are very narrow in scope, if you get sick, um, the financial institution might have a very narrow scope of how you qualify under sickness or disability. And she says it's pricey. Canadian Tire charges $1.10 for every $100 on your balance. So customers with an average monthly balance of $2,500 are paying $2,750 a month or $330 a year plus taxes. After we contacted Canadian Tire, a spokesperson reached out to Joe Graves, apologized for the people who tried to get her to pay her husband's bill, and settled the dispute. Erica joins us now. Credit card insurance uh, is pricey. There seem to be a lot of loopholes when it comes to coverage. What are the options if you are worried about your debt, though? Well, a lot of financial experts we spoke to said the first thing you should do, Rosie, is get out your credit card statement and look to see if you are, in fact, paying for this insurance because a lot of people are unaware that they've signed up for this. During our bank investigation stories uh, about a year ago, we had a lot of bank employees write to us and say they would secretly tack on this product because it Mm -hmm. earned them sales revenue. So check those uh, credit card statements and see if you're paying for it. Okay, and uh, what about tips in terms of how you might want to avoid some of this and better protect yourself? Yeah, you know, if you want to have some sort of a safety net, uh, financial experts we spoke to said that you should invest in good life insurance or disability insurance that's underwritten. So you're asked things like your gender, your age, the type of work you do, etc. And then also they suggest you create an emergency fund if you're able to, a, a sort of little cash pool that you can dip into if need be to pay off your credit card if you lose your job or if, if you're temporarily sick. But I would imagine the best advice, at least the advice my parents would give me, just don't carry balance on that thing. <laughs> well, yes, that is definitely pay off that puppy every month. That, that's the best thing you can do. Okay. If possible. Thank you. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate it.